Hello, 7th graders! Welcome to our Teleradio Escuela. Tara na! The School on Air Program of DepEd Tagum City. We are glad to be with you in this new normal journey of schooling through radio broadcast. I am your radio host, Mr. Roger L. Villacorda from Tagum City National High School. How are you feeling now, dear students? I hope you are well and safe wherever you may be. Today, you will be learning about how to maintain the tools, equipment, and paraphernalia in front office. So be seated in your most comfortable position as I give you our teacher broadcaster, Sir Ever P. Bilioti. Hello dear students, are you enjoying the previous lessons? Good to hear that. Since you have known already the different tools, equipments, and paraphernalia from the previous discussions, let's make an advantage on how to develop your skills from preventing it to be damaged. Would you like to know more? Let's go! Now that you have already settled in your area, bring out your pens and notebooks and secure your learning module, especially the TIL 7 Quarter 2 Module 3. Let us hear our objectives for today. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to perform aftercare activities for tools, equipments, and paraphernalia in front office. Specifically, you should be able to clean tools, equipments, and paraphernalia after use according to standard operating procedures. And, store tools, equipments, and paraphernalia in appropriate area in accordance with safety procedures. Now, before we start our lesson for today, let us determine how much you already know about front office services. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Are you ready? Let's go! Direction Identify the tools described in the following items. Number 1. A device that is able to accept instant bookings even when there is no clerk available at the front desk is called A. Fax machine B. Computer C. Printer and D. Telephone Again, a device that is able to accept instant bookings even when there is no clerk available at the front desk is called A. Fax machine B. Computer C. Printer and D. Telephone And the correct answer is A. Fax machine Number 2. An electronic device for registering and computing transactions which is usually attached to a drawer for storing cash. A. Cash register B. Cash box drawer C. Guest folio rack or D. Key rack marker Again, an electronic device for registering and computing transactions which is usually attached to a drawer for storing cash. A. Cash register B. Cash box drawer C. Guest folio rack or D. Key card maker And the answer is A. Cash register Very good students! And for the last question, a machine that detects the security features of banknotes in order to determine whether a bill is fake or genuine. A. Fax machine B. VIN card C. Bill detector or D. Key card verifier Again, a machine that detects the security features of banknotes in order to determine whether a bill is fake or genuine. A. Fax machine B. VIN card C. Bill detector and D. Key card verifier and the correct answer is letter C, Bills Detector. And now, let's proceed to our proper lesson. Let us first discuss how to maintain tools, equipments, and paraphernalia. What does maintenance mean? Maintenance is an excellent means of improving the performance and condition of equipment and facilities. An effective maintenance program identified problems long before any equipment or facility breakdowns or deteriorate. Why maintain? As a general objective, is to keep the optimum condition of physical facilities 
at acceptable levels and minimum costs to satisfy the expected of programs, services, and activities at acceptable and minimum cost. For specific objectives, it is to extend the useful life of physical facilities, to assure the operational readiness of installed equipment and maximum possible return on investments, to properly discard hazardous waste, to ensure the safety of personnel using the facilities, physical properties, and the environment. What can you gain from maintaining our facilities? First, it ensured safety environment, improved morale of human resources, reduced operational cost, increased production, prolonged life of facilities, prompt delivery of services and products, and waste and garbage reduction. Who are involved? Who will manage the activities? Who will monitor and evaluate the operations? Who will prepare the maintenance schedule? Who will implement the program? Who will keep the records? Who will conduct the inspection? Who will certify and accept the work? And who will prepare the report? What, where, and when? What routine actions must be done to keep the device on working order? Where are the maintenance activity to be carried out? When do you perform the maintenance activities? How to maintain? The question on how do we implement the maintenance program will center on the 5 M's as follows. 1. Manpower 2. Money or financial resources 3. Methods and systems 4. Machines or facilities and number 5. Materials and supplies A maintenance program is a comprehensive list of maintenance and its incidents. This would include all maintenance activities to be undertaken, manpower needed, maintenance method to be used, and all the materials and supplies needed and costs involved in the maintenance. Now, let us discuss the guidelines on maintaining and storing tools. First, keep hand tools clean and free from ferrous and other contaminants. Second, do not use hand tools with direct contact to acetylene due to the possible formation of explosive acetylides, especially with the presence of moisture. Number three, during normal use, all pliers and screwdrivers will progressively develop some damage to the striking faces of screwdriver or to the cutting edge and striking end of pliers. As part of the normal operating and safety procedures, this tool should be returned to the workshop as with the steel tools to have the faces and heads redressed. This is essential to prevent eye damage resulting from chips detaching from the items during use. Number four, do not use hand tools fitted with wooden handles in places where the handles may dry out and shrink. This will increase the risk of the handle breaking or the head losing, becoming loose. Tools are designed for a specific purpose. As with any tool in addition to the probability that the tool will be damaged, this is dangerous place for practice for the safety of the operator. And lastly, the accepted standards of safety and maintenance for common steel hand tools must be adapted with non-striking hand tools in addition to any specific recommendations resulting from the alloy use. Now, here are samples on how to maintain equipment and paraphernalia in front office servicing. Number 1. Electric Opener 1. Unplug the electric can opener. Number 2. Because the parts are small and difficult to clean, use a toothbrush and a mild detergent to remove food particles left after opening cans. Number 3. Wipe with a dry and clean cloths and lubricate the cutter with light oil. Make sure to wipe away excess lubricants to make certain that it does not transfer to the components of the can that will be opened next. And number four, place the can opener inside the box and store it in a kitchen cabinet. 
Second is the printer. Number one, keep it clean. Two, do clean head. Three, use printer regularly. Four, turn off the printer. Five, don't do overload printing. Six, use recommended ink. Number seven, change the ink before it runs out. And number eight, cartridge performance maintenance. The next is how to maintain the reception area or desk. One, keep the reception area clean and organized. Two, create a pleasant and relaxing environment. Three, offer complimentary refreshments. And lastly, provide a clear traffic flow. Next is how to maintain a hotel key card. One, offer sleeves for the card. Two, keep the card away from electronic equipment and other cards. Three, check the magnetic strips for scratches. And four, check the card slot for debris. And for the last, how to maintain the computer. Number one, blow out and clean computer regularly. Number two, don't smoke or eat and drink around your computer. Number three, don't shut down computer too often. Number four, don't leave laptops and computers plugged in all the time. And number five, update software and perform regular maintenance. Let us remember, cleaning, caring for, storing tools, equipments, and paraphernalia are tasks that all of us shall undertake. It is not easy to do all of this, but with concern for the people and the environment when one works for, doing them seems to be motivating. And that ends our discussions. I hope that you learned something from our lessons. Now, let us try if you can remember all the lessons that we had. Get your quiz paper now and write your name and section. I will read the question twice and then write your answer. Direction. Write true if the statement is correct and false if it is incorrect. Number 1. The general objective of maintenance is to extend the useful life of physical facilities. Again, the general objective of maintenance is to extend the useful life of physical facilities. Number 2. Maintenance program is a list allocating specific maintenance area including equipment, tools to a specific period. Again, maintenance program is a list allocating a specific maintenance area including equipment, tools to a specific period. Number three, computers must always be shut down from time to time. Again, computers must always be shut down from time to time. Number four, Cartridge performance maintenance is one of the maintaining process for printers. Again, cartridge performance maintenance is one of the maintaining process for printers. And for the last question, number 5. Maintenance is an excellent means of improving the performance and condition of equipment. Again, maintenance is an excellent means of improving the performance and conditions of equipment. Now for the answers. Number one, true. Number two, true. Number three, false. Number four, true. And number five, true. Congratulations! You now know how to maintain tools, equipments, and paraphernalia in a hotel. Now for your assignment, please answer activity 1.1 on page 12 of your TLE 7 Quarter 2 Module 3. That ends our lesson for today. Have a good day students. See you next time. Thank you, Teacher Ever. That ends our lesson for today. For you to understand our topic further, you may do the exercises provided in your modules. You may also have an advanced study of your topics to prepare yourself for your next lesson. Thank you, students, for tuning in. Hope you learned something today. 
This has been Roger L. Villacorta, your radio host. Keep safe, everyone.